Hi guys, Mark Kwok here. All right, so we are eating a ton more because Thanksgiving is past, Christmas is upon us, and we're just like turning into fat blobs, right? So we gotta go to the gym. And when we go to the gym, what do we take with us? We take with us a gym bag, something like this. This is a gym bag that I've had for years from Adidas and I've had no issues with it. But recently I've been thinking about getting an upgrade and then I eventually did. And then I got something that I think is overkill yet incredible. This right here is the Stuart and Lau Regimen gym bag. It's like, <laughs> we gotta go through this. Oh, also, so they came out with a new one as well. This is called the Redux. So I'm gonna talk about both of these, but pretty much they're similar. I'll give you a little bit of the differences between them, but they are effectively my favorite. And I think the best gym bag out there now. So to me, a gym bag needs to do a couple things and not really much more than a couple things, really, when I thought about it. It needs to keep my stuff in one place. It needs to be somewhat durable, kind of like be okay with wet and moisture and stuff too, because sweat and water and swimming and so on. But it wasn't until I got this Stuart and Lau bag that I realized, oh my God, my life could be a lot easier. Number one, this is like material that's nice and waterproof. And so you don't expect water coming in, water coming out. Two, it looks classy. I mean, it has these are leather handles on the regimen and there's like trims of leather here and there. So it just elevates it. So they feel a little bit more luxe when you're going to the gym and coming out of the gym. Like honestly, because of its luxness, you could use this as a regular duffel somewhere without even using it at the gym. And it has all these features in there that are really good for weekender stuff. Next, it has a shoe compartment. I think this has become more common as part of gym bags, but you can put your shoes in the side and so they're not touching everything else. And it also wicks away. I mean, like it's it's ventilated. So the, the water and stuff from your shoes kind of evaporates. It comes with a laundry bag. So if you have laundry or your swim trunks or something like that's wet, you can put them in the laundry bag and go and wash that as well. Water bottle holders, laptop holders, phone holders, keychain ring, has like an even like a, some sort of hooks so you can put this on a locker vertically so that you know how lockers sometimes are a little bit skinny like this you can put that in there and it hangs from the top microfiber on the inside so that you can be able to put your laptops and stuff without feeling like it's going to scratch up the place it's roomy it has metal hardware it feels good it looks good i mean this thing is completely meant for the gym in every possible way if you thought of something Oh, it has a rubber base so that it doesn't get wet when you put it on the ground and there's like, I don't know, showers and stuff. Because of these things, you really, like I said earlier, could take this as a weekend or two and use it like that. It's like office to gym, to other place, to office. It could be really your only bag and it works perfectly. And it's kind of the right size. So it's 35 liters. The Redux is a bit smaller at 30 liters. And I think that's actually some, maybe the perfect size for some people when it's a little bit smaller, but you can basically use both of these things as weekenders, as gym bags, as home bags. It's like, it's just so versatile. Quickly, let's talk about the Redux, which is the new version. I mean, I think this is like a, a Japanese collection release or something like that, Stuart Lau does. I think this is called the Redux because basically they're taking the regimen and kind of reducing it to its essentials, making it a little bit smaller because 35 liters is kind of big for just the gym, but this guy's probably perfect for the gym size at 30 liters. It even has like holes here so that you can put this alongside your luggage. So you can just put it, plop it on top. It connects to the kind of the, the luggage handle that you have. And I mean, they just thought about everything. Do you need all these features? Do you need the hook that allows you to, you know, put this in there? Eh, no, not really. You can just shove your bag in there. Do you need the rubber base? Eh, no, I mean, like as long as it's like somewhat durable, it's fine, but I mean, it helps, right? Do you need microfiber on the inside so your laptop and your phone and stuff get scratched, don't get scratched up? I mean, that's, it's kind of not necessary, but the fact that you get it all and you didn't even ask for it, but it's just like part of the product, it showcases how thoughtful they are about creating a product like this. So I trust the brand a little bit more. It seems like I'm gushing about these gym bags, but I kind of am just because they're so nice. But here are the cons, right? Like the first thing is when you are getting a product like this, you're gonna have to spend the money. <laughs> I talked about a bag like this. This is not very expensive. I think I got this from uh, Nordstrom Rack for like 35 bucks. This bag is probably 10 times that price. Now, I think there's sales, coupons, stuff like that, but it's significantly more, as it should be significantly more, of course, but 10 times, you know, you talk about these features and whether they're necessary or not. Yes, they make your life better, but they're not game-changing things that make you completely change the way that you go to the gym. At the end of the day, the important part is to go to the gym, right? 
And so you have to really commit to wanting a nice gym bag. And if the answer is yes to that, then I would highly suggest taking a look at this. This would be, I mean, there's a couple other brands I've researched, but this kind of came out and, and was at the top for me. Now, overall, would I recommend this bag? I mean, here's, here's the synopsis, right? If you want to kind of have more of a premium bag for the gym, I mean, because maybe you use it for more things than just the gym, or maybe you go to the gym often, and so you want to just like invest in something proper, a little bit better. The answer then is an overwhelming yes. It has all the features that you need. It's completely overkill, but it, it gets used. Like all these different features actually get used by me, right? So definitely invest, go and get this bag. I think I, I highly recommend it. If you're more a meat and potatoes guy, you don't really care about all that sort of stuff. You don't care how you look going in and coming out. You don't care, you just smash it in the locker. You have all this dirty stuff in there anyway. So like whatever, like just, then I would probably not care to get it. It's expensive. I mean, you are really shelling out over 300 bucks for a bag that, you know, that's that's a lot of cash. And there's a lot of substitutes, right? There's a lot of substitutes. So in the case that the premium doesn't really matter to you and those features and stuff don't get you kind of excited, like to me, it got me excited, but to you, it's just like, phew, it has a compartment for my laptop. Who cares? I'm just gonna smash it in there. Who cares about my laptop? Then I would not recommend this for you. It doesn't, it's at the end of the day, it's still just a bag, right? So like if that, if your original bag does a job for you, let it do the job for you. If you just want to elevate, then go and get one of these. So that's my synopsis. I think this is kind of an answer for a lot of the products I talk about, but you know, it's true. This is how I feel. So great, the Stuart and Lau, this is the Redux, but then also the Regimen. If I were to choose between the two for my lifestyle, I kind of like the look of the Regimen a little bit more. So that's probably my choice. But I mean, they're both equally awesome. Give it a shot if you can. Let me know what you think. And uh, thank you so much for watching. My name is Mark Kwok. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.